Okay, welcome to our March 17th special session. At this point right now, we are live and recording, but we are having some issues getting all board members on. And so at this point, we do not have a quorum. So we are continuing to work the issues to um, allow our other board members to join. So thanks for being patient. Um, welcome to our salary um, committee participants and um, thank you for being patient. Oh, and now we've got one board member. Welcome, Ms. Pangborn. Thanks, Ms. Pangborn, for, for being patient and working, working the problem. And then we've got Mr. Boyko. Welcome, Mr. Boyko. Morning. Bright and early. Morning. That's four. <laughs> yeah, here comes, this is uh, Mr. Frost. Yeah, uh, that very strange. I, I apologize to the board members for that. Uh, it was odd because it worked for a couple of board members, but it didn't work for uh, for a couple of others. So uh, we'll have to figure out why that might be. Uh, Mr. Cavanaugh is joining as well. Morning, Mr. Frost. Hey, morning. I'm not certain. It was asking me for it in my email. I put my email in and I don't know. I'm in now though. <laughs> yep. We had all kinds of issues, so. Yeah. Okay, it looks like we're all here. Is Mr. Kavanaugh here? Let me see. Okay, Mr. Oh. Kavanaugh's here. Okay. Um, as I said, welcome before, welcome to the March 17th um, special um, meeting. I would like to call this meeting to order. Mr. Frost, will you please um, lead us in the pledge? And everyone, please mute yourself so that Mr. Frost is. Thank you, Madam President. Uh, please join me in the Pledge of Allegiance. Pledge of Allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Okay, and real quick, did was Ms. Shern, I don't want to start without Dr. Ulrich, did we? You're muted. Ms. Eidenreich, would you uh, would you confirm that Ms. Shern uh, was unable to join us this morning? Will do. Okay, great. Um, I I guess I'm going to just kind of keep this moving. Um, at this point, I need a motion and a second to approve the agenda. I moved. Second. second. Okay, so Ms. Heidenreich, just so that it was Mr. Frost and um, Ms. Bernardi. Okay, so all those in favor of approving the agenda, please raise your right hand and say aye. 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 All those opposed, motion passes. Okay, next up. Um, Excuse me, uh, President Andrews, uh, Nicole Shearn will be joining the meeting. Okay, is she hopping on now? Yes, ma'am. Okay, thanks. So let's. I will monitor the participants, Ms. Andrews, and make sure that as soon as she comes on, we, we make sure we propone her to panelists if she has any issues. Perfect, okay. Um, so next up is the approval of the certified um, salary package. Um, can I get a motion in a second? So moved. Second. Okay, and then I'm gonna turn it over to Dr. Allred. Well, good morning and thank you very much. It is rather extraordinary to have the Board of Education uh, meet at seven o'clock in the morning. Um, so I wanna start by saying thank you uh, to the board for, for this. Um, yeah, I think it is a uh, really just a tangible or tangible evidence uh, of the board's commitment to this process. Um, and, and frankly, wanting to get it done uh, in, a, in a timely manner uh, for our certified staff. So thank you very much. 
So before I turn it over to Dr. Fields uh, for a few words, uh, who will then turn it over to our co-chairs, um, I want to make sure that I say, from a from a very from a high level standpoint, the Board of Education and the Salary Committee had two shared goals this year uh, for the 22-23 salary schedule. First and always is sustainability, fiscal responsibility. We want to make sure that we uh, that anything that we bring to the board for approval, we can say with confidence is sustainable and fiscally responsible. The next thing that we wanted to do uh, was bring to the board uh, and the board's goal was to have a salary schedule that is truly indexed. Uh, I'm happy to say here on March 17th that that's exactly what we're bringing to the board. And so, Dr. Fields, um, I'll turn it over to you, and then I will ask you to turn it over to the uh, turn it over to the two co-chairs who've joined us, Dr. Amy Barker and Mr. Todd Stevener have joined us uh, on the panel. Uh, they have a, a couple of words on behalf of the whole salary committee, and then uh, President Andrews, I'll turn it back over to you um, uh, at that point. Is that okay? All right, Dr. Fields. Thank you. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, Board of Education community and colleagues. If you did not know, I'm certainly a morning person. And so with that, we are super excited to be able to meet this morning for this occasion. Pursuant to board policy GCQD, the salary committee has been formally meeting to discuss matters of salaries and benefits for certified staff. I would like to express my sincere thanks to those who dedicated their time and perspectives to serve on this community, on this committee. That being Amy, um, Carol, Kelly, Jennifer, Sarah, Colin, Dana, Mike, Steph, Cindy, April, Jennifer, myself, Dan, Kathy, Todd, as well as Dave. The salary committee had an initial meeting on December the 9th 2021 and subsequent meetings on January the 13th, January the 20th, February the 22nd, March the 3rd, as well as March the 10th. It is my pleasure to recommend a one-year salary package for certified staff with a combined increase of 3.75% for salaries and benefits. We believe this package is both fiscally sustainable as well as it will allow us to continue to attract and retain high quality teachers. Um, again, I've had an absolute pleasure working with the entire committee, but at this time, I will turn it over to our two co-chairs, both Dr. Amy Barker, as well as Mr. Todd Stevener. Thank you, Dr. Fields. Thank you, Dr. Ulrich. And thank you to the board for meeting so early. Uh, I will say certified staff, we do like getting the news about the contracts before spring break. So yay, thank you, thank you. Um, those of us who are on the committee are elected uh, by MSTA uh, or KNEA. Uh, and we do take this responsibility very, very seriously. Uh, one of our goals for many years has been to index the salary schedule because of how it contributes to a climate of fairness and equity. And so we are so excited that we were able to achieve a truly indexed schedule this year. So thank you for your support of that goal. Todd, did you wanna jump in? Absolutely. First of all, good morning. Um, just wanna recap the process and then the results for you guys quickly. Um, as you know, we're a 10 member committee. We represent both unions, like Amy said. Um, Howard had hit the numbers for meetings. Uh, I had a little bit larger number. I had 19 total meetings. Uh, we started talking in November so that we were prepared for December as a teacher group. Um, we had 13 additional meetings to Howard's six. Um, and last night, we figured we're somewhere around 30 total hours plus a really conservative estimate of 10 hours doing spreadsheets. Um, so that's awesome. So we're somewhere into this thing, 40 hours this year, uh, volunteer time by a fantastic group of, of teachers. Um, you, would, you would all be proud of the work they did. Um, something we did this year is we gathered a lot of information um, and, and started looking at, I don't know the word trend is correct, but five years of what we've been doing. It really helped us make some, some really informed decisions this year. 
Um, and, and, and that's been good and that's gonna help us moving forward. Um, again, huge thank you to the teachers that gave their time. Moving on to results. This is a salary and benefits package that the entire committee is super proud of. And as Dr. Ulrich said earlier, it meets the, the goals of, of the committee and, and what you asked for and what we feel was, was right. Last, last two things, we wanna, we wanna thank the administrative team for their flexibility and their hard work and their time on this also. And then thank the board for supporting our wonderful committee. Um, we really appreciate it and we are super glad and our colleagues are gonna be really happy later on to hear that this is all coming out before spring break. So I'm gonna turn it back over to Dr. Ulrich. Thank you very much. Uh, President Andrews. Hey, Ms. Heidenreich, do you mind to mute real quick? Okay, um, board members at this time, um, do you have any questions? Okay, see. No questions, but just want to thank you guys, uh, Ms. Baker. Ms. Parker and Mr. Stevener, thank you guys for all your time. I know it's a lot of energy. I know it's a lot of hours. I know you work hard. Uh, I know it's, this is this process is something where you, oh, every year it's it's we kind of wade through it. But I wanted you to guys know that we really appreciate all the time and effort because it's really important all that what you were able to do this year, because this has been different. This will be a different looking structure for payment wise for us, but it was needed. And we really appreciate the time and effort that you put in on it. Okay, any further questions or comments? Okay, seeing no further questions or comments, we'll move to a vote. Um, Ms. Heidenreich, you've got the motion in the second. Yes, um, Mr. Boyko and Ms. Pangborn made the first and second. Okay, um, so all those in favor of approving the salary, um, salary package, um, please raise your right hand and say aye. aye. All those opposed, motion passes. Okay, and at this time, um, the meeting is adjourned. Thanks everyone for joining us and have a great St. Patrick's Day. Thanks guys. Thanks. Have a good one. Have a good day, everybody. Hey, Tony. You still there? <laughs>